So I'm here, I'm back in Harrods. We have an appointment today, well my mum does, at Louis Vuitton. So I thought I'd take you with me and let's see what we can see in the new collections at LV. I haven't been in there for a while, so I'm quite excited to see all of the new seasons. Hey guys, so I did say this is my mum's appointment today. We're in Louis Vuitton and I thought I'd show you the bag that she's thinking of buying. Have a look. today this is Cara and I'm from London today I thought I would take you with me we're actually here on an appointment for my mum she's got an appointment at Louis Vuitton and she wanted to have a look at some bags so they have an appointment her and her essay so I thought I'd sneak in and give you a little bit of a film and see what's new inside LV today I'll also take you up to the shoe heaven floor because I haven't been there for a few weeks so I'm always quite excited to see what new shoes they've got in stock and hopefully if we've got time then we will go and have a look at Dior today so yes let's have a look happy shopping and enjoy this vlog Right, so in the LV windows, we've got a drop of Yayoi Kusama here. This is the second tranche with the polka dots and the neon colours with the black and the cerise neon pink. Then you've got the pale blue in the On The Go Mini. I mean, there's absolutely gorgeous colour combinations. It's not my cup of tea, as I've said before, but for those of you who do love the collaboration with Kusama, then you really can't go wrong. I mean, the colours are very bright, very pigmented. That's a quite nice metallic silver leather jacket there. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, and this window, it's absolutely lovely. I do love my black and white, don't I, ladies? Let us have a good look. If you zoom in to the skirt, this gorgeous cotton maxi skirt, you can see the LV monogrammed into the actual fabric. This is a dobby finish cotton, so you've got the texture in the cotton right there. And there's the LVs. Isn't it lovely? And they've mixed it back with, that must be leather, patent leather. season ready to wear spring summer i quite like this monogrammed lv it's like got a slight flocking on the sweatshirt absolutely lovely and you've got the denim jeans with the lv as well <gasps> guys if you like your logos come here quite like the open toe sandals very similar to the twist lock on the twist bag Gorgeous, 4,350, and the leather is very, very unique. It's got so much character. You can see as you would wear this, it will age. The leather isn't like an older leather, and the skin would age really, really well over time. But can we just appreciate the lining? My goodness, gorgeous, and the hardware.
these are quite cute guys little baby drill denim shorts with the LV patch on the front let's have a look at the price for all of you girls who are looking for a bit of summer newness I mean gosh we need the weather don't we 895 for those quite sweet and then the LV the Louis 4 t-shirt this is their classic piece and that is now 615 <laughs> Guys, I know it's not coat season, but can we just appreciate? Let's look at the price first. 5,500. Can we appreciate this Mac? I'm calling it a Mac and not a coat because it is slightly heavier than a trench, but it isn't as heavy as a winter coat. You can totally wear this during the spring and the autumn. Isn't that lovely? Look at the details on the cuffs. Beautiful. The leather belt and the LV. did say this is my mum's appointment today we're in Louis Vuitton and I thought I'd show you the bag that she's thinking of buying have a look This is the LV on the go bag in the medium, in the embossed, I mean, absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? In the embossed leather. And I think this is 2,400. So she's been wanting to have a bag like this for absolutely ages. And we're finally here to make that decision. Or are we? What do we think? Has anyone got this? What's your opinion? I mean, for me, I love the fact that it's a great size as a for a tote, like an everyday tote. But it's leather. So do you have it? Do you find it's quite heavy? I mean, it doesn't feel so heavy. And I've held it quite high up for a while now. Let's just look at the details as well. I do love that the outs the sides have got the miniature LV logo and then the front and the back has got the oversize quite pretty quite nice they also do this in a beige I don't know if the correct color is the beige but it's like a taupey neutral really really nice color but we think that this is a more all-round in black <laughs> So quick OOTD, today I'm wearing a oversized long line blazer from H&M and a plain basic white t-shirt from Reese. Saddle Dior belt bag in black with Kristen Dior strap. The paper bag boyfriend jeans are from Zara, new season, and then my chunky Air Force Ones. Right guys, if you come up to the first floor in Harrods Louis Vuitton, you've got to come and see this trunk. This is one of their absolute gorgeous limited edition trunks. It's 146,000. I mean, even if I walk around it, have a little look at the sides. It is the most exquisite looking things. And if you remember in my earlier vlog in January, I showed you a limited edition Yoyoi Kusama vanity case. Well, that one was 250,000. This one is 146,000. And you can actually customize the internals so it doesn't have to be pink. I believe someone recently ordered it with a scarlet inside. Isn't it lovely? We've got a nice little stool as well very very LV with the luggage trims and then why not if you're going to purchase a trunk why not get a one little one for your sunglasses I mean come on guys I'm absolutely obsessing aren't I but it's beautiful if you're a fan and you can afford it absolutely why not quite like this actually 
I've been looking for a silk scarf for a while, but I've recently bought a couple of the Dior ones. I don't actually need, I mean, who actually needs anything in fashion, really? It's not a necessity, is it? It's almost retail therapy, but I thought I'd show them to you anyway while I'm here. This is gorgeous. <laughs> This one is screwed down, so I can't lift it up unless I ask, but can we appreciate this? I do love my rainbow hardware, and this is the twist bag with rainbow hardware. Check out the lock, absolutely lovely. If you're a fan of the LV twist and you like your seasonal colors, I would so recommend this. <laughs> do you like your squishy bags have a good feel of this one it's so soft it's really really cushioned these are quite cute and lovely quite like these what do we think do we like these this is more of a grab handle bag <laughs> gorgeous colors for spring in the capuchin have a look guys what do we think you've got lovely pinks here with the pale pink on the inside ivory over there with the multicolored pink handle and then this is like a gray with an off like a softest little shade of pink beautiful right have a little pit stop at the harrods cafe which is on the third floor gosh i haven't been up here for a while quite empty today although it is midweek and it's quite early here are all the homewares on this floor this side of the floor anyway baccarat i do like baccarat glasses guys and one on the wish list thought i'd quickly show you the dior homeware floor let's have a little look and see what they have this was probably all prevalent in the dior cafe in january last year oh they've got the cushions let us have a little look guys by now you should know how obsessed i am with these cushions i mean there isn't even a price on them i don't want to buy it today i don't even want to buy it at all because i don't want to spend more money i should be on ban island now but look at this this is beautiful this is the water bottle and then you've got the candles as well. What else do they have here? Let us have a look. You've got monogrammed towels. Are those placemats? I think those are placemats. And the candles. Some more cushions up here. Lots of things. Oh, look guys. These are quite special, aren't they? Dior glassware. Again, no prices. Right guys, I'm upstairs on Shoe Heaven and this is the newly launched Amina Muadi boutique on the fifth floor. So if you are a fan of Amina Muadi, I mean, can we just obsess about the layout of this store? It is so dreamy. I mean, if it was me, I would love this as my bedroom. Look, you can actually filter it by colors. So you've got the pinks here and of course I'm gravitating towards the pinks. Then you've got the greys. It's totally dedicated to your outfit. So if you're here looking for a pair of Cerise shoes, you can't go wrong. Right girls, look at that one. Oh my goodness. Let us have a little look, shall we? Stunning. I mean, in my hand, they're like electric. The Rosie Sling in Future, £900. I don't actually own a pair of these shoes yet, guys. I mean, I have so many things, but oh, look at the, look at the rose colour. Iridescent. This is stunning. Look at this. Beautiful colours, guys. Get yourselves down here if you want to check out the new boutique. Let me take you up here as well. I mean, come on. 
if you want to have your little girly, I mean, a little Hindu or something. Hello, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? These are actually behind the glass, but it's so stunning. Every girl's dream, right? Let me go back and have a look and show you. Louis Vuitton in the fifth floor for shoe heaven and look at these new colors in the Isola slide isn't that gorgeous what color do they call this I call it oxblood it doesn't say but it's 575 and it's called Isola I do like that color it's like a wine or a burgundy they do have it in the white as well perfect for summer what do we think I mean in terms of how I feel the leather is it is a little bit harder than I would probably prefer the Dior Dway slides are softer this is a nice cushioned sole though but this part's a little bit stiff although it probably would soften by the time you wear it a few times and they have it in the gold and in the oak as well let's see what we have here I have been looking at this I mean, I don't really need any more shoes, guys. What do we think? It's in a lovely cosmetic pink. You know me by now, I do like my pinks. This is called the Nina Flat 805. This is very soft. The Revival Mule, how much is that? 580, that leather is so soft, really nice. Sling back 975 and then the lower heel is the same price. That's good that they don't charge higher for the higher heel. Okay, well we have to pass into Dior, don't we guys? Look at the new installation for the new collection. Isn't this lovely? This is the Indian inspired collection that was filmed in Mumbai. And you've got the beautiful peacock here and all of the prints. And then this is the very new monogrammed shoe. What do we think? Here is the D-Light bag. This is the same embroidery as the one that I tried on in the book tote, the Toile de Joy colors. Right, I'm obviously in my favourite shop at the moment. This is the new, it looks very much like the Plan de Paris black and white print sling back, but it isn't. This is the Toile de Joy in the new season collection print and colours. And that's in the same one in a slightly darker colour here. But yeah, they have got a lot of the new season shapes and colours in. I mean, obsessing am I much? Look at that, if you want the matching bag and the shoes you've got that here now these are the babies that I'm in love with but they just don't have my size <laughs> got the gorgeous new colour in the fuchsia pink and the dad sandals aren't these cute the diorama I do like this colour guys in beige but it's very similar to one I have already in the sheepress <laughs> Plan de Perry 
I don't know what to tell you. I'm so happy that last week they actually said they don't have the size I need in stock, but today they do. So on one foot, I've got the 36 and a half, which is this one. And here is the 37. I have already got these shoes in plain black canvas in a 36 and a half. And the sales associate does recommend that you get the smaller size because the slings could lose elasticity over time. Although they can do things to actually fix that for you, but it will take a few months. So yeah, I'm so obsessed. What do we think? Do we like these? This is Dior on the fifth floor. This is the shoe heaven department. I'll quickly show you what they've got in terms of bags. They do have a small selection here. So starting over there on the left, you've got the saddle bag in the large and in the small. Then you've got the, oh, quite like those fuchsia pink slides. <gasps> I did tell you months ago, guys, that fuchsia pink and neon pink are very much on trend. Then you've got the beautiful new season D-Light bag in the Toile de Joy black and white that I've just shown you in the mirror. These are the D-Joys in the small, the medium and the large. I think the small starts from 3,450. Quite like those, but I'm a fan more of the book totes at the moment. Yeah, so what do we think? Then you've got some SLGs. And then the little mini, I mean, I really don't see the point of this one, to be honest with you, but I'm sure it's popular. It's called the phone bag. And I do like these little card holders, if you're looking for a card holder. But yes, it is all about the shoes and shoe heaven. Let us just obsess, shall we? Look at these. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the content today. Wait before I fall off the escalator. I wish you a very good week ahead. And if you haven't seen my other shopping vlogs, I'll put them up here for you. All the best, stay safe and well, and I'll see you next week. Bye.